Another obstacle that prevents one from making toba is having too many expectations, having many expectations. Yahya ibn Mu'adh rahimahullah ta'ala said, the thing that prevents the people from making toba is many expectations. The shaitan always strives to discourage the believer by saying to him, take uh, your time with regards to this. What is the rush? You have all the time in, in the world. So shaitan deceives and makes him procrastinate. So the slave dies while sinning. Meaning that you, thinking that you have a lot of time in this life to make toba. Well, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna leave off that. Inshallah, I know I'm doing this. I know I'm doing that. May Allah subhanahu wa taala forgive us of our sins and bless us to come closer to Him. Amen. It's narrated that Ibn Abbas radiAllahu taala anhu said with regards to this verse, the hypocrites will call to the believers, "Were we not with you?" The believers will reply, "Yes, but you led yourselves into temptations. You look forward for our destruction." Uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, but you lead yourselves into temptation. Sa'id uh, means with desires. Uh, he says, with regards to Toba, the statement of Allah, and you were deceived by false desires. So all of these things show us that it's important with, uh, that we, we have to make Toba, and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encourages us to make Toba, and that the hypocrites will call to the believers. And say, you know, because they were with the believers. The hypocrites are amongst the believers. They are in the companionship of the believers. And the believer, but in the Yom Al-Qiyamah, they won't be with them. The believers will reply, yes, but you led yourselves into temptation. So they outwardly manifested their Islam. But inwardly, they were corrupted in entirety by the shaitan because they didn't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They didn't uh, uh, believe in what was prescribed for them to believe in. And they followed their vain desires. <clears throat> so Ibn Abbas makes clear for us the importance of being true to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not being in a person who follows their desires and indulges in sinfulness. The Shaykh, Shaykh Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahmatullahi he said, So the steadfast, upright believer should make good use of his time and not procrastinate and turn away from living a life of longing and hoping and expecting so much in the future. Some of the Salaf, Salaf used to say, Be weary of procrastinating ways, uh, pro of, of procrastinating always, delaying and putting off things. For indeed, it is something from the shaitan and his forces. So procrastination is from the shaitan. And all of us, or many of us, fall into this. May Allah forgive us. Ameen. So this is the example of the steadfast believer who lives a life minimizing his expectations and hopes. And his example, his example is that of a group uh, that traverses upon their travels, meaning they go up, they travel up, and they arrive at a town and settle to prepare... Uh, to prepare themselves, requiring what they need. Then they move on to their next destination. And this is the example of the believer in this world. He's only just passing through, so he only takes from it what he will need for his journey. And he has no time to do too much procrastinating and delaying ever, uh, delaying his opportunity that, that passes his way. So this is imperative that we take our time, and use our time wisely in this dunya. We use it for fulfilling our needs, the needs and the rights of others. And at the same time, uh, we use the time for seeking knowledge to come closer to Allah. That's why Talib al-Alam is imperative. That's why it's important that we read treatise, treatises like this to bring us closer to Allah, to remind us of our sins, to remind us to make toba and to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to be reminded of his mercy and to, and to seek forgiveness because those things bring us closer to Allah and those are beneficial ways to to uh, spend your time, but don't procrastinate and say, well, yeah, I hope to seek knowledge in the future. Yeah, I hope to make toba. Yeah, I hope to do this, I hope to do that, because you may not get that, you may not arrive at that time. And may Allah protect us. 
from procrastination and bless us to be better slaves of his. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.